Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today is our last day of Foot Birthday Player SBCs according to the Foot Birthday themed SBCs that we have been getting for the past two weeks. Today is the last day, Tuesday of the second week of Foot Birthday is the last SBC in the line that we will be seeing today. Of course, the Foot 20 commemorative SBC, which is showing us the hint of that Dutch flag. Now, of course, a lot of people have been throwing out one big name for who this SBC could be today, but we're not 100% sure on who that is because there are some leaks, but of course, the leaks don't feel as strong as they have for the rest of these cards. So we'll talk about some cool cards that we maybe could see today if it is not the St. Juice Day that we're expecting. I also want to talk about the Kondogby and the Party Bag because, again, almost every single time we get these Party Bag SBCs, which I'm expecting to have another one later this week, I'll talk about that as well, we see some specific market movements that you can get involved in and make coins almost every single time they do this, especially if they do it on Thursday with the weekend league coming you know, with some extra demand on the weekend. So again, let's first talk about this brand new SBC that we got yesterday, which is the Jeffrey Condogbia coming in at 217K, same price as the Palacio SBC. And uh, of course, this card, the links are okay for the Atletico Madrid links, right? But of course, the nationality, Central African Republic is hard to link up in a, you know, a nation link. But he does have the five-star skills they upgrade him with. He has high medium work rates, 80 pace. He has 80 acceleration, 80 sprint speed. You know, I'm honestly kind of surprised to see the amount of upvotes that this card has. 2,200 upvotes and 1,100 downvotes. I honestly think that since this SPC, these full birthday SPCs are so reasonably priced, they have skill upgrades or weak foot upgrades, and this card is Hullet Gang. I mean, I just feel like people in this game try to figure out, hey, you know what? This is a kind of a cool-looking card. What excuse can I make for him to put in my team? Honestly, at this point in time, we are so close to team of the season with a lot of these SBCs. If you haven't been already, use, you're using your best judgment and saving your coins for team of the season, which is not very far away, is a huge part of this game right now. So I know this SBC card looks cool, but you know people aren't doing the player picks anymore because those are not out. It's just not as easy to craft those. So I don't think you're going to see as many people do Condogbia or even the SBC that comes out today because they're not as easy to craft and you have to do them more out of pocket. So that, we're going to talk about that a lot in the next couple of weeks. As we get towards Team of the Season, the stuff that comes out during that promo, there's always upgrade packs and Team of the Season just resets the market in an entirely new way because you have all of those really high rated cards with big time stat boost, juiced out cards, and they're cheap, right? Because they have so much supply on the market because during team of the season, EA supplies the market a lot with those players. So um, I am expecting that. Now, again, the SBC player that we're looking at today, of course, our little, our little hint on the front is that Dutch flag. And a lot of people have been saying that it's going to be this St. Juice Day card from the Bundesliga. You've actually already started to see Bundesliga center backs sold off, right? I think of guys like Uwe Meccano's uh, headliner card. This guy was over 300,000 coins in the weekend. He was down in the 270s uh, today. You've got guys like Rota to Final Akanji, who even have a game today. People are selling off this card, 356,000 coins. Now, we're going to talk about Rota to Finals towards the end of this video as well, because we do have some Rota to Final games that are being played today, Champions League games with Rota to the Final implications, of course. So we'll talk about those as well. But I think it would be really, really sick if E kind of ditched the leak if it was going to be St. Juice Day I mean yes he had the scream card last year in FIFA 20 that was very valuable but I feel like people would love a Frankie de Young foot birthday card with upgraded skills or weak foot and also a Van Dyke right if EA is going to put Van Dyke into a promo this might be one of their last opportunities to do so because this year all he has is that record breaker card and his gold item of course being injured he hasn't really had the ability to get performance uh you know, performance, like what do they call them? The performance based upgrades. I, I was almost thinking like performance enhancing. No, that's, that's not what we're talking about. Performance based upgrades. Van Dyke has not been able to get those because he, of course, has been injured. So I hope they switch it up today. I hope they end with a bang as well, right? A lot of these SBCs have been very good. The last two have just been okay, right? Even Renato Sanchez, hyped up card, but possibly didn't live up to exactly the amount of hype as we would have liked. So, you know, the SBCs we saw at the very beginning, super duper hyped, and I hope we end on a high note today. Now, speaking of SBCs and fodder, 84s and 83s went up a bunch today because of that party bag SBC that we was released yesterday on Monday. Now, the interesting thing about this party bag is 
is that it is live for still another two days. So this, this SBC is not out for that long, but if you have 84s, I honestly would would think about taking the cash unless you want to wait for the SBC to drop today. Then you could possibly take the cash after that if it is a very OP uh, and you know very in demand SBC. But these 84 is really really boomed up, as you can see. And if we look across the entire SBC fodder market, 83s are back up at three and a half k a piece. I would take the coins there. You know we talked about it even last night that say hey. Some of these 83s and 84s are low. Maybe club stock at some of them would be a decent idea. And you're getting a quick payout already if you did do that. 85s are about the same. 86s are about the same. The rest of the SBC fodder market is just chilling around the same as what it was yesterday, except for the 83s and 84s have gone up a bunch with this party bag SBC. And since this is only out for two days, I do really think that when it expires, I think it's going to expire on Thursday, right? Because it's two days 23 hours, I believe, until this is going away. I think they'll release another one, right? Because what we saw last year during foot birthday as well is we had three of these SBCs. We had a party bag, obviously, last week. This is another one. I think when this ends, they're going to re-up it either, th either Thursday or Friday or maybe even on the weekend right as foot birthday is ending. I feel like they could re-up this party bag SBC. And every single time this drops, you guys know what happens. SBC fodder, especially 83s and 84s, go up. Now, informs didn't really go up that much today. I think informs are so heavily invested in uh, that, you know, that they're getting cheap again, right? Because they're not really in demand for as many of the icon SBCs uh, that have been put out, like the icon player picks or big time SBCs like that. They're requiring two informs. I think there was a party bag SBC they dropped a while back that required two informs. Now, of course, this one only requires one. So some of that inform demand, while I still think informs at their low prices are a good club stock, especially from even this week's team of the week that we're looking at that's going out of packs uh, in literally one day. These guys are going out of packs tomorrow on Wednesday. You know, you still have some of these cards down here. Kudos was 24K earlier today. Now he's 27. Uh, this guy in the 20, low to mid 20s, for an 84 rated inform is a good pickup, I think. Same thing with Soyuncu and Dupravka because at some point, especially what happened last year during team of the season was they were requiring inform cards and team of the seasons. And everybody was so worried about investing in team of the season cards that informs went up exponentially because they were still requiring them during that promo. So I still think club stocky informs is a good way to kind of make some coins and save stuff and put it in your club, buy one, put it in the club, wait for informs to skyrocket and then sell it. So I still think that's a very viable method of trading. And a lot of these guys have gotten really cheap with just the less demand of the informs. But I do think we will see this party bag SBC 100% again later this week or in the next week or so. And I still think a lot of people right now are really, really wanting an icon upgrade SBC because for the past couple of months, there's been consistent icon upgrade packs out in the store and now that we've gone a little bit without those you know with foot birthday you know player themed sbc's ending i feel like this could be the perfect time where they bring them back i know i said that in yesterday's video i really do think we're gonna get something this week and that would be a big this could be like a big transition point maybe they're not going to do it until the weekend once foot birthday is over if we're if we're not getting another promo that could be their content that they drop on friday but that is something that I'm kind of expecting to happen at some point this week. I don't know what day it's going to be. Uh, you know, they've dropped Icon SBCs literally every single day at some point this year in FIFA. And I think that does continue this week. They dropped some sort of other Icon SBC. But I want to continue talking about this tar party bag because every single time they drop an SBC like this or a guaranteed foot birthday SBC would have a similar market movement, you know, you have cards that are in demand that are going to be a part of this SBC get sold off and then bought back, especially if they're, you know, impending upgrade cards. Like today, there was a couple cards that I was watching on the market that dropped and then have now risen back up. This one that I bought today myself was Samia. This guy was down to 115,000 coins on a couple snipes about, you know, 30 minutes to an hour after that party bag SBC dropped. Now, the big thing to look for is you can see this drop right here from 128 down to 117. He went back up to 126. I sold mine at 127. Boom. I know it's not a lot of profit right there, but you know, that's going up 10,000 coins. There's like what, 6K of tax here, making a cheeky 4K per card. You know, you buy 10 of these, boom, you know, you're making nice 40K. Not that big, uh, not that terrible of a flip, right? For a few hours, that's a nice little flip on FIFA. So this is the kind of panic that you see all the time with those party bags is the players that are inside of this SBC 
people sell them because they pack them, right? And sometimes you notice that more players get sold off a little bit more than others because they're, they were maybe a lower rated card as a part of that promo like the Samia was one of the lowest rated foot birthdays from team one. But he was also in demand, right? Especially with the Renato SBC and a lot of the French links and the League One links that are very hyped up right now. This guy going down from 128, almost 130K, down to 115. I knew that was going to bounce right back with all the hype that he had. Same thing with this Future Stars Diada, who was getting upgraded on Wednesday. Now, I didn't buy any of these, and I, I missed out. I really should have. I went for a different play with Sambia and the Conte, which I made a lot of profit on Conte, but this guy was 245,000 coins. He has all the hype in the world, getting a plus two upgrade on Wednesday. He went all the way down to 225 during that panic when the foot party bag was released, and now he's rebounding back and continuing to go even higher as we get closer to that upgrade on Wednesday. Now, you always hear me will say, I'll sell these cards in the hype of the SBC actually coming out. I would 100% do that again here today. Now, you see, look, he was 170,000 coins in the Xbox, went down to 159, and is now back up to 176. What so happened on both consoles today with this Diada card? Another one that I saw was Yuri Berchiche, just an in demand Spanish left back that is in this game. An insane card, right? Really, really hyped up. He was down at 145,000 coins at his absolute lowest, I think. It doesn't show here. He's actually in the 140s. He's gone back up to where he was pre-SBC at 162. So that's the kind of stuff that I would do if they drop another party bag SBC or even a guaranteed foot birthday SBC. You see that all the time. If we do get some sort of guaranteed foot birthday in the code, that is the type of market movement that I would look for. Scroll down through these, some of these promo teams. Look at the panic selling. Uh, I bought a Bastoni today at 195,000 coins. He's back up to 216. I've got mine listed at 220. So that was, a, again, another fluctuation that happened there with those cards that were a part of that party bag that people panic sold or whatever, and now they're starting to buy back. Barnes was like 269 at one point. He's back up to 290. There's a good fluctuation right there on that card. So that's the kind of fluctuation and market movement that you can see when we have something like that party bag or a guaranteed player SBC, a guaranteed like pack player SBC that comes out. Now I'm, I'm kind of low key hoping that we do get some sort of like guaranteed foot birthday SBC because I do think that'd be kind of cool. But you know, we haven't had that released into the code yet. Now, of course, I still have my I still have my SBC fodder stocked up here. I'm literally waiting for some sort of icon SBC or uh, some sort of big SBC with a lot of hype um, before I'm going to be shipping those cards off and selling them. I really want to see their prices skyrocket. There's a Chiellini I bought at 99K. That'd be a 5K flip. And this Bastoni I got at 195. So that'd be a nice flip there. Still have the two Reynas that I got in the 640s. He's still chilling around like 660, 670. So I'm trying to hold out for him to get rare on an hour and then go back up. But let's transition into the next thing because today, right? More Champions League football. Big time games. Manchester City and Borussia Dortmund are playing today. Also at the same time, Real Madrid and Liverpool are matching up today. Big Champions League games. You've already started to see some road to the final market movements on these cards that are playing today. I think that price drop on Akanji is partially because people are really favoring City in this matchup. And you're seeing guys like Joao Cancelo, who was 350,000 coins over the weekend, has now risen back up to 400k again as the Champions League stuff is getting hyped up as we're seeing a lot of hype for those games. Now, of course, you don't have a ton of games tomorrow, right? You just have these two games between these four teams, but there's a lot of live items involved. Real Madrid, of course, you've got Varane, you've got Hazard, you've got Wijnaldum and Salah for Liverpool. You've got um, Dortmund's got Brandt and Akanji. Uh, and then Manchester City, you have, of course, Gabriel Jesus and that Cancelo card. So, there's a lot of items that are, you know, going to be in action today. Now, of course, the favorited teams like the Manchester City squad, and it's looking like some of the Real Madrid cards have gone up too. I'm really watching this hazard because, again, these cards are very, very rare. Now, of course, they're not going to get upgraded after this game. Whatever the result is on this game will impact the prices a little bit. But it's not going to be the actual, it's not going to determine the upgrade because, again, whoever advances on from this leg to the next round is when the upgrade will happen. So we probably won't see road to the final upgrades this week. But again, those teams play next week on the 13th and 14th. So we're probably looking at road to the final upgrades for Champions League cards and Europa League cards on the 17th of April or the 18th of April sometime in there. So it's going to be another two weeks or so until we actually get road to the final upgrades. But 
these cards are going to move around. Let's say like a uh, city score first, you're probably going to see us a Kanji drop. Now, one thing I would say is if we get St. Juice Day at the content drop, Alaba and Akanji are both live items that are still road to the finals in action. I would keep a close eye on these because if we had some panic selling pregame just because of an SBC that was dropped, there could be, you know, a quick, a big time potential. If Dortmund were to score a goal first against City, you would see this card shoot up in price and it was extra low after that same juice day came out. So same thing with like Alaba when, um, when Bayern Munich play, I think they play on a Wednesday, of course. Yeah, they'll play Wednesday, obviously, against um, against PSG. So, you know, you just kind of watch a card like this, and if there is some panic selling tomorrow due to a substitute item, I think the potential bounce back, especially for this Alaba, since they're, you know, quote-unquote, maybe favorites to win against PSG, then you would see this bounce back very nicely with the game coming a day after a St. Juice Day SBC would come out. So that's one thing to keep in mind. There's going to be a lot of road to the final action. And again, remember that these cards are very, very rare, but they're also still cards that a lot of people like to use in this FIFA, right? You've got this Hazard card, left mid Real Madrid. Really good links, excuse me. Um, this guy's been right around a million coins. He's actually up around 100K. He was in the lower 900s this past week when all the selling was going on, you know, getting ready for Renato and stuff like that. I do think you will see even post game, if some of these teams lose, there could be potential to buy. If the window of loss, that margin is not that big, let's say Real Madrid lose today. Let's say they lose one nil, right? They lose one nil. Obviously that's gonna be a close game. And if you see a too big of a drop off on Hazard, then you'd probably expect that price to rebound back as we get into next week. So again, this stuff is gonna be a watch for sure post game today, but even the weekend league sell off next weekend, depending on what's going on in FIFA, we'll definitely wanna keep an eye on these cards because people love these road to the final upgrades, big time, big time. So that's kind of one thing to watch out for. And of course, if you see a really, really meta card that is panic sold because it's no longer gonna get upgraded, just like this Conte card, this guy literally went down to a million, under a million coins. He was like low 900 on the PlayStation and he has bounced back up to 1.13. I bought one today at just over a mil and I sold it at 1.13. So big time fluctuations on those cards that are meta that people love to use in game that are also live cards. Just watch, of course, even after they lose, they're still maintaining that hype and that, you know, good, you know, meta player in game that people like to use in their teams. And these road to the finals are still very, very rare. Same thing with the what if cards. So that's kind of my opinion right now with what is going on with those road to the final cards and what you can expect today. I'm hoping EA drop a madness because I feel like yesterday on FIFA was a bit of a quieter day. The foot birthday team two cards, a lot of you guys are wanting to know, hey, can I buy these for my team? Adama has dropped off a bunch. Awar is down. Tamori was actually 710 earlier today. He's rebounded to 750. So some of these cards have rebounded up a little bit as people are trying them. But a lot of this stuff is just maintaining its lower price. Uh, and honestly, I think people are just waiting for that Icon SBC or they're just waiting for more content. Like right now, until we get to Thursday, I really don't know if you're going to see huge price swings on these full birthday cards unless something crazy happens uh, because people are just going to wait until Thursday to potentially buy these cards. Uh, and then, you know, just like we saw with Foot Birthday Team 1, probably seeing them rise after weekend league rewards and stuff like that. So we'll kind of talk about that today as well uh, on the live stream. We live streaming content drop today, of course, looking at these road to the finals and looking and seeing what this SBC is. And if we do have any sort of like center back panic selling, if it is actually St. Juice Day or Van Dyke, I'm kind of hoping for Van Dyke, I think. I think EA has, you know, a potential to make a really nice SBC if they dropped a Van Dyke, that'd be cool. And you'd see a lot of links go up because of that. But that's my opinion on that SBC today. We'll see what actually happens. If you guys have any comments down below, drop them down there, ask any questions, ask away. I do like to know and enjoy knowing what you guys are wondering about in terms of market right now on this game. Open bids are your best friend. Rare cars are your best friend. Uh, and you know, when they release party bag SBCs, that's just automatic fluctuations and easy coins are made there with people selling cards and then buying them back. So that was the biggest money maker today. If you did get involved in that, that was a GG. Of course, if you did like the video today, make sure to thumbs up on it. And of course, comment down below if you have questions and subscribe if you are new. That is the video for today, boys. Good luck if your team's playing in Champions League. And, uh, you know, good luck if you're opening party bags because they are an absolute scam per usual. But I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.